All right. So this is Moonlighter. Anyway, if you hear kind of a noise, I have my fan on because it's a little warm. I need that nice breeze from my fan to stay sane. But yeah, this looks like a pretty good game. Hard is recommended? Well, if you say so. But what is there, like, insane? Well, alright. I'll take your word for it. Uh, sound. There it is. Let's turn the music down a little bit. Main attack, secondary, roll is L2. Nothing's R1. Well, I guess you can change it if you want. Uh, can, can I get out of this? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Get back to the goo zone. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in the land. They called them dungeons. <laughs> what a name. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. Among the settlers, two groups shine bright as heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young yo older. Bleh. Long dream of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Let's go. I like that the shop is called Moonlighter. Got that uh, binding of Isaac feel. Legend of Zelda. Old school Legend of Zelda. A little bit of like Ender the Gungeon, things like that. Um, do I need a. Okay. Yes, we can roll. He's using a mop? And R R2? Oh, R2's a potion. Okay. What's this? Okay. Charge up. Okay, um, 
quick move? Okay. Now I used a potion. I didn't mean to do that. Quick move all. There we go. dead. I don't think there's any way you can win this. <laughs> Rip. Dude just kind of goos you out. Oh, it's the old man. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will? I is that our guy's name? I have you now. Home shop, okay. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeons. Looks like a pig. On on the right there. There is no doubt you carry the same reception as old Pete. Warning boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Yeah, you could say that. Will, listen to me. Hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on, on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! You know, has Zelda copyrighted that saying yet? You'd think, royalties! It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Got a sword and shield. You were wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if you can get through your heart. Hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Actually, when we got the sword and shield, it should have been da 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 da. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things you must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come on now, open the shop and allow the customers in. Okay, this is a little bit also, uh, oh, what's that PC game, Wrecketeer, where you man a shop and go in dungeons? That, that game's pretty good. Okay. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expression. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices weren't fair. I don't think I need to tell you that that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a proper item too much. If you flood the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. The point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Oh boy. Okay. Um, sure. So, uh, R2. So, at a hundred, 
200's too much. A hundred's all right. Could we sell them for a hundred and fifty, though? Um, is there? Okay. But seeing the sun has fallen for the day, best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its floor. Now wait a minute. Restoring this shop to it is full glory? Uh, I don't think the apostrophe should be there, but... To its full glory. That responsibility falls to you, not I. Now that time the apostrophe works. It is in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night. One can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant. Okay. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Masa, my son. When I find you... Oh, well, have you seen Masa around by any chance? Uh, no. Are you heading into the dungeons? Be sure to take advantage of the hot spring if you find it. The water will soothe your eggs. Just downright revitalize you. Okay. Uh, I'm digging the... Uh, what I really like about this game, the art style and the music. Real good. Will, I saw you in the golem dungeon earlier. I didn't... I thought the dungeons were supposedly closed, like it was bad to go in them, but nobody seems to really care. Well, can we play tag next time? Uh, well, here's Masa. I stopped by your shop? Uh, no. Hey, I found your I found your little kid. Oh, so Masa loves this joke. Where did the hungry clock go? It went back for seconds. <laughs> I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. Most pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one is nearly impossible. But apparently not impossible. You found any new culture artifacts? always find it fascinating how all the items you find in the dungeon appear to be entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Okay. What's in the box? Wait a minute, I'm still using the broom. Uh. Hold on. Training sword sword. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, there we go. Press L1 to switch. So I guess basically we just go to the dungeon. I guess the only one we can... Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Well, what's these other ones? Only for heroes. No entry. Not recommended for merchants. shouldn't be. Wake up. Need some more caffeine. Okay, there. Okay, map. That, that's good.
not these damn water pods. Doesn't the the broom has a little bit more range though? What's the charge up for this? Uh, oh, maybe only the broom has the charge up. The square is shield. Okay, I kind of get this. Uh. Hmm. Person of hopefully far better luck than I. My time is short. My duck injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. Caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. Dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this map. Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old crazy Pete Tungun lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. <laughs> well, I don't think there's much smell when you're that dead. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay. Sure. Or, or is this the dead guy? Big boss gonna kill me. I'm supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, uh, Big Boss gonna be upset with little me. Big Boss. Metal Gear. Okay. Neat. Uh. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. I, I'm actually forced to leave, I think, because we can't get out of the damn room. like we were in there all night. Our dude never sleeps. Ah, oh, the young proprietor of the Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly? It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where'd you get this? You, you found old Pete? Dead? See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in and attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would you be nice to see... Would be nice to see new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. are too hard. To bring me enough money materials a forge can be reckoned with. Uh, well, I only got a hundred gold. What can we do here? Cheap sales box. Item sold. This sales box. We'll have a discount. Why would we want to have a discount? health in the morning. 
extra space for items would be nice. Holy moly, this game is quite elaborate, I think. Okay. So, barrel! So, okay, now how do I... We know this is too much. So, a hundred. But it makes me wonder, what should we sell? What do we need to keep? Ancient pot. I thought it was a mushroom. Um... for vines? Question mark? How do I just grab everything? Roots. Iron bars. I mean... Ancient pots. Uh... 20? Actually, let's not sell all the vines. Let's just try that and see what happens. Wait. Oh well, yeah, there's two of them. Mistakes were made. Uh, I think that was too cheap. Okay, that's too much. That was okay. What about the iron bar? Iron bar is too much. Can we, like, Okay, we can... Let's try five. Let's try 30. Okay, now... Ancient Pot was too cheap. So let's try 50. Okay, 30 was okay for that. Vines must not be. Oh, ancient pots are worth some cash. Okay, okay. Three dollars for vines. Let's try golem cores. Let's just sell one. Twenty-five. of January. I hope this game doesn't have an actual time limit. That would kind of suck. Okay, that was too cheap. I oh, hell, vine vines aren't worth selling. I sell this for 25. Let's try 50. Um, let's try selling some roots. Okay, 
Okay, finally. Maybe because I was trying to sell too many at once. Oh, I didn't look if the root was a... Uh... Ah, it's almost night, I see. Okay, golem cores are worth a lot more, too. Okay. Shop's closed. Everybody up. So, do I have... Can I use this as a storage? Okay, good. So, quick move all. Okay. What's this? Ah, oh, the diagram. Okay, I kind of get this. More storage? Wait, whoa, wait a minute. Rich, there was a glitch when I opened this. Yeah, see, it says rich jelly. Okay, so... Like, we know 50 is too cheap. Ah, uh, 5 was perfect for... Okay. <laughs> now, wait a minute. 2 was okay. 3 was too much. Question... I can sell for 2.5? Never sleeps. I gotta check something real quick. That would be kind of silly for a game like this, I would think. Killable? What the hell? Hey, fuck off. Oh. Uh, read? 
why. Why do tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched. Where rooms and tests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Uh, okay. Item must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. Item must be placed on the left or right of the bag. bad idea this is one of the strange devices that creatures drop to when it fled this one's rich actually almost quite literally rich for any item you place into this device gold of some perceived value drops out it's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch device looks like a mirror, so I'm just going to call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder, though, where do the treasures from up to inside go? Am I getting the best deal here? Um, okay. Uh, grabbing. Okay. Hold on. Why does the music seem still so dang loud? Okay, so... If I wanted to... get paid. Okay. That's kind of neat. one item in the direction shown upon returning to town. Okay, so I should move this here. Uh, now it's like a puzzle game. Oh, you're not dead? Uh... Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you. 
next to that room. Oh, son of a bitch. I think I need to leave. Let's try to kill this guy. Today marks my first step into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Renoka, a small and incredible charming village just north of the crater. And there are quite and they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. The unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice twice. One must ask though. If no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Oh, deep. Now, now the, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasures, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some golden fame. Not I. No, it's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why did they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for what. I'm here for how and why. Now, uh, okay, I got a question for you, buddy. If if each dungeon is unique, how did we come to this room with your journal intent? It should have been theoretically impossible. Uh, 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 what's going on? Ooh, what? Is it telling me that I should be leaving? What's that pulsating eyeball? It's freaking, freaking me out, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Die already! Uh-oh. What's that? I'm out of here. Like... What? The goo man. <sighs> hey, wait a minute. You lose half your money? Wait a minute. Oh. 
I needed I need to buy a forge. 500. I wonder. I need I don't think the mirror does the mirror work? No. Does the game autosave? Like, if I leave now, did the game save? Okay, so 50 was too cheap for this. 75? Crystal Rock. I don't know, 100? Powering Crystal. That sounds good. Hardened Steel. Uh, 200. Oh, wait. Much, but he's still gonna buy it. Oh, hard and steel was worth it. a lot more than that, really. is I can't remember if that was a good price. Yeah, that was fine. Gold runes. I don't know. 45? Five's still too cheap for that. Okay, the empowering crystal is too much. Like, what do you people want from me? I don't know, these are probably cheap. the upgrade during the night. Okay. Yes. 
and he's just gonna magically show up like right off the bat like oh okay neat like you work fast friend Ah, you must be Will. No? The one who requested my forge? My name's An Andre. Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan Forge, it's the place. Okay, so we need fabric. For a fabric bandana, which gives you a little bit of health. I can make an iron helmet. Oh, no I can't. It's 4,000 gold. You, you're kidding, right? Holy hell. So is the bandana. Jesus, this game is gold. Giant. Okay, I, I see this is going to take some time I'm getting used to. I don't know what I'm doing. It might be a while before I know what I'm doing. I may have to actually look up some tips for the game. Like, what do I do? Because it's definitely don't do this. magically get potions when you come back in. Oh, shit. What the hell? Why is this room all disordered? Wait a minute. Uh, that's straight up a Zelda enemy, by the way. Do you go in these holes? How, how, wait. Oh, there we go. Fuck. I'm dead. I didn't put my items away. I'm a moron. Wait a minute, you just come back in? But now it's different. Okay, we, we've uh, seen that before. So if I need to heal, can I just constantly go in this?
I guess your guy can't level up. I guess the only way to get stronger is to actually make stuff with the forge. Is this going to be the same thing? I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine? A rock that moves. Did what any sensible person would do in this situation and smacked it right back. Shattered upon the ground, leaving behind a stone heart. The core, as we have come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon. Dropped by a guard unique to only this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular environment. A culture all its own. Okay. Just heal here, though. You can't. No. So, oh, except now I glitched it. Just sell it. Should have just gone back to town. Oh, God damn. Okay, I'm sure it auto. Well, you know what? I'm I'm gonna end the stream here for a bit. I'm gonna kind of scour the internet for some tips. And 
next time when we continue off. Hopefully I'll be a little bit better at this. And I got some other games I might want to check out. I bought a whole bunch today because it was like, eh, some cheap games. Why not? I splurged a little bit. So later.